Rat Queens. Everybody loves Rat Queens. It's one of the most entertaining books currently being put out by Image Comics. Or rather, it was. The series is currently and kind of mysteriously on hiatus, and the further I dug into this matter, it doesn't look like it's coming back anytime soon. <laughs> So some background, Rat Queens debuted in 2013 from writer Curtis Shea Weeby and artist John Rock Upchurch. Almost immediately, this was a critical success. It got nominations from the Eisner Awards, the GLAAD Awards, the Hugo Awards. It's one of those books that people just can't help but gush over. There's a lot of love and admiration for the series, and it's not undeserved. I can personally say that Rat Queens is fun, exciting, and kind of touching in a way. Beneath all the blood and bad language, there's a real heart there. And I'm not typically into D&D style stuff, so if I'm telling you to go read Rat Queens, then go read Rat Queens. Or rather, read the trades. Let's talk about the run of this book. While the actual content of the book has always been considered top-notch, the behind-the-scenes operations haven't been particularly smooth. For one thing, Rock Upchurch left the book in November 2014 after he was arrested on charges of domestic violence. He was eventually replaced by this guy, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this. However, he had to leave after only two issues due to health reasons. He was eventually replaced by Tess Fowler and for a while, things were looking good. The book was coming out, it had a regular artist, schedule was a little erratic, but other than that, things were looking great. That is until this past Sunday, April 17th, when Curtis Weeby announced he was putting the series on hiatus. This came after a tweet from Tess Fowler earlier in the day saying that issue 16, which comes out next week, April 27th, was scheduled to be her last. Which also sucks because she was already scheduled to do issue 17, which was going to come out in June. But now it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. After next week, no more Rat Queens for a while. And that sucks. This joins Peter Panzerfaust as another Curtis Weeby series that just stops without much explanation. Peter Panzerfaust, by the way, is Peter Pan reimagined as a World War II resistance fighter. It's amazing, but it was put on hiatus with only two issues left in the series. It's not like Curtis Weeby is quitting comics. He still has a Dark Horse series bounty that's scheduled for release soon. And this can't be based on sales either. Rat Queens was never a blockbuster seller, but the last issue came out in March, and in that month, it sold better than a lot of other fan-favorite series, like Lumberjanes, Deadly Class, the new Jughead series. So why is Curtis Weeby all of a sudden giving up on Rat Queens? Well, doing some research, it looks like this could be personal. About two months ago, he made this Reddit post about the condition of the current Rat Queen story arc. Fans were complaining that the series was getting darker and more confusing than it had been in the past, and Weeby's explanation was because, well, he's in a dark and confusing place. He hadn't gotten over what happened with Rock Upchurch, and he was seriously considering canceling the book. He freely admits that he was working out a lot of demons with this storyline, hence why it's actually called Demons. That said, he does say that Tess Fowler pretty much saved Rat Queens. Without her, this series might not have gone past issue 10. He promised that the next storyline would be a brand new start, back to basics of how Rat Queens was when it started. But it looks like Fowler is leaving the book, and because of it, we're not going to get that bright new direction we were promised. At least not yet. I'm still holding out hope that Rat Queens will return. This series is just too unique for the world to be without. If Curtis Weeby needs to do other things to take his mind off of Rat Queens and recharge his batteries, then please, by all means, do what you gotta do, man. Go work on Bounty for a while, maybe start on a new project, maybe team up with Tyler Jenkins again and finish Peter Panzerfaust. He's done with Snowblind, and again, two issues left. Just please don't let this series die. If you have to end it, that's fine, but give it a proper ending the fans want. They've kept it alive for this long. They deserve that much. So what do you guys think about this Rat Queen situation? Are you upset that it's on hiatus? Do you think it should just end? Let me know down below or anywhere on the internet. And as always, like if you like, subscribe if you really like, share this video with a friend. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. First solution, get a fill-in artist. If the main artist is having trouble meeting deadlines, the publisher will get a fill-in artist to do all the rest of the work. This way, the flow of the main story isn't interrupted, and the publisher gets to meet their scheduling deadlines. But this can lead to a lot of inconsistencies. Let me explain. If you were to ask Marvel, they'd say that Civil War was a seven-issue miniseries released in 2006, written by Mark Millar and illustrated by Steve McNiven. And they're not wrong, but they're also not mentioning all the various spin-off series.